Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, back with another video and I wanted to talk again about player props uh, and just kind of walk you guys through uh, this website, whoscore.com and I just think that some of the statistics here are really good, especially when you're trying to play player props for soccer teams. So without uh, wasting a lot of time, we'll just go straight into it. So whoscore.com, you just come here to uh, where it talks about uh, football statistics and one of the things I like to look at is the pass percentage and you want to look at you know how the, the teams are faring and things like that but what I like here as well uh, if you scroll all the way towards the bottom you kind of have player statistics and this is good for uh, knowing uh, things like you know how many times these players have gotten a yellow card how many times these players uh, you know, have shots in a game and things like that. If, you, if you're going to bet on those, and these you'll find on uh, 1x bet. I have a link uh, just below that like button if you want to join. And uh, also uh, Bet365, which are the two uh, sites that I like to use. All right, so now I, I want to try and just talk about uh, passing because I feel like, you know, passing statistics are one of the best. So if you can see at the bottom here where, I'm, where I kind of sc uh, scrolled uh, down, just at the bottom here, it kind of gives you a little uh, guide to what all the, the abbreviations stand for. So minutes played, all that kind of stuff. But what I want us to do is look at where it says passing, okay? And so with passing now, it brings a more detailed uh, statistics about how many passes in the game, passing accuracy. And if you tap on where it says AVGP, that's average passes, uh, It'll show you the guys who have the most passes on average uh, and what their pass percentage is. And, and passes is one of the things that I like to play with soccer. Uh, I'm moving more and more away from, you know, like I said, the traditional markets. Not because they don't make money, but the odds are not always great. Uh, and that's what most people play. So, you, you know, if you want to try and find new ways to, to make, uh, you know, money with betting, I would say that uh, you know, looking at player statistics is one way to go. And so this is just under passing. Now, if you click on the detailed tab, it gives you uh, information on, let's say, the players and, you know, uh, how they played uh, and per game, how many shots they have and things like that. So it gives you like, you know, Kylian Mbappe, it talks about, you know, how many shots on average he has and he has about 4.1 shots. Uh, and his rating is 7.97. Uh, he has 1.1 outside the box and 0.2 in the six yard box and 2.9 uh, of his shots usually come from the penalty area. And this is just one of the things you can look at. And if you see here, it talks about clearances, offsides, uh, passes and assists, even tackles if you wanted to look at that and just see, you know, who has the most tackles. So if you, if you click on the total tackles, it should give you to show you that, uh, huh, that's interesting, that a Griezmann is number two for the total tackles in a game. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I, I didn't know that statistic until today. So you can kind of get an idea. And this is also, again, if you want to play specific, uh, you know, markets. And I'll, I'll take you through that just now on Bet365 just to show you where some of these markets are. And then I also do it on one expert just to kind of show you that. So there's a lot of detail that you can play with here. And I don't want to spend the whole video just talking about it. I just want to show you stuff that you can go play with and uh, just get an idea of, you know, what's going on. And this is actually even more interesting. It shows very different statistics from the detailed. Um, you can do home. You can do away, you can even do the offensive. So if you want to do, you know, players that score goals, uh, shots per game, that kind of thing. Uh, so it's all here, uh, whoscore.com. I will put a link to the, the page itself. Uh, so if, you know, you're looking for it, I, I'll put a link just below that like button as well. Uh, so yeah, this is how uh, whoscore.com works. All right, so now let's dive into uh, Bet365 and then 
All right, so here we are on bet 365, and as of this recording, um, the Man City game has not started, so I would just use that one as an example. So in this case, uh, and again, it varies based on the bet 365 account you have, where I am, they're called parlies. Uh, so what you're looking at, and say we had looked at uh, tackles, for example, so now you have player tackles, right? So we know that... Uh, the game is coming up and if say we we thought about it and we said you know uh rodrigo or rodri uh he averages about you know maybe 1.5 tackles a game we could add that okay and then maybe if we also said maybe uh robertson also averages a tackle but we'll go with two tackles because you know it's a crazy game so we could add that and maybe that would just be our uh, bet but if you know we want to take a step further for example maybe based on the statistics we found from who scored we know that um, let's see maybe Kyle Walker and this is probably by the time you're watching this this might have happened but let's say Kyle Walk Walker uh, averages about uh, 50 passes a game so we would go with 49 passes if you can see here about a little nice little bet builder and you know we could play it and then that's that's it so that's 2.6 odds um and that's just an idea and again this is just quickly doing it it's not saying that this is exactly how it played but i'm just trying to show you how it would be done so even player shots on target for example you know if um like i showed uh, in the last video about uh, coutinho uh he had one shot on target every other game and you know that odds for that and i think against I forget what team it was, it was 1.83. So simple things like this, that, you know, it's not trying to take you away from the more traditional markets, but just opening your, your mind to the possibilities of what can be done. So this is how, you know, just an example how I play. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you do it on Bet365. Yeah.